One Odessa man says he was falsely accused of a crime by Odessa city leaders. We sat down with his lawyer and looked at the findings from the Texas AG's office in tonight's top story. The mayor was trying to use the city's resources to hide his identities in this, in this uh, false report about my client. Attorney Bobby Bland is representing an Odessa man he says had a false police report made against him. Bland says that Mayor Javier Hoven texted the chief of police false information. The city failed to identify uh, that the mayor was the one who sent in that information. Uh, the mayor hid behind uh, the city attorney's office and the resources at, at, in, in the city to protect his identity. Uh, he was hiding the fact that he is the one who sent in that false information. And whether he knew it or not, we don't know because he won't talk about it. But the fact of the matter is he was trying very hard to hide the fact that he was the one who sent in that information. Uh, the fact that he, he still won't say who sent that information uh, is, is troubling. And there needs to be an investigation into the mayor's actions. The city of Odessa decided to seek outside guidance on the situation, asking the Texas Attorney General's office, should they have to disclose everything? The Texas AG says there are things that do not have to be disclosed if they prevent the pursuit of justice, but public officials who make a report are supposed to disclose their identities. The mayor of the city of Odessa is not allowed to send texts to the chief of police and then hide behind it claiming he's a confidential informant and the attorney general said so. After the completion of the AG's report, the mayor of Odessa released a statement saying, quote, I'm relieved that this has been resolved. Our initial inclination was to immediately disclose all information, including my communication with Chief Gerke to the public. However, we were concerned with the legality and possible future implications for citizens who might be in similar situations. The mayor's statement is disingenuous at best. The only person they were trying to protect uh, by hiding his identity was the mayor himself. Uh, the only th information they were keeping from the public was the mayor's identity. So the city was using their resources to protect the mayor's identity. There was nothing at all that was transparent about it. In fact, it was the exact opposite. The mayor says that he would not want to discourage members of the public from reporting suspicious activity to city officials or law enforcement. Attorney Bobby Bland believes there's more to this case. Something doesn't smell right about what they've done. And the fact that they did this shows that there's a cover up here. This cover up by the city of Odessa needs to be exposed and needs to be fully investigated. And you can't tell me that they're trying to be transparent when the only person they were protecting was the head of the city of Odessa, the mayor. Bland has now requested that the Texas Rangers complete an investigation. He tells us the Ector County District Attorney's Office has made the same request. We're prepared to follow up uh, all the leads wherever they take us and go wherever we need to go in order to make sure that there is justice in this case and that those who did wrong uh, on the part of the city are held accountable. We have reached out to the city of Odessa for further comment or the documents the attorney general said needed to be released, but have yet to hear back. Right now you can read the full Texas attorney general's report on this, as well as all of the documentation we have so far on our website, yourbasin.com. Of course, we'll keep you updated.